South Korea saw over 400,000 new COVID-19 infections on Wednesday, and although the country is seeing a gradual decline, the authorities remain on alert because severe cases hit an all-time high. The government is, however, set to announce new social distancing rules, possibly easing the current restrictions. Chae Jung reports. South Korea on Wednesday confirmed 424,641 new cases of COVID-19. It's a jump of 77-thousand cases from the previous day, but cases dropped by 66-thousand on week. The number of patients in critical condition hit an all-time high of 1,301. The country also posted its second-highest number of deaths at 432. Despite infections declining slowly, authorities underlined that the country must remain vigilant. People are letting their guards down, knowing that the Omicron variant has a low fatality rate. However, if you look at the figures, deaths are currently concentrated among the elderly. Taking this into account, Omicron still poses a grave threat. Kim, however, also gave reassurances that Korea's fatality rate is much lower than countries with a similar number of cases, thanks to the public's efforts. Officials also said that the number of severely ill patients is lower than the initial forecast of up to 2,000. Thanks to oral pills and Omicron's comparatively mild effects, officials have downgraded their projection, saying severe cases will reach a maximum of 1,700. Meanwhile, starting Wednesday, local clinics and hospitals can treat COVID-19 patients face-to-face, -face, increasing access to medical facilities for those infected. People can now see doctors after making a reservation, even if they are under quarantine. Beginning Thursday, children aged 5 to 11 will be able to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Around 1,200 medical centers nationwide will be providing Pfizer shots for young children. Health authorities are strongly advising that children at high risk, including those who are obese or have weakened immune systems, get inoculated. Authorities are also considering relaxing current social distancing rules with revisions to be announced on Friday. The changes are likely to include expanding the social gathering cap to 10 people from the current eight and extending business hours to midnight. The revisions are set to be implemented next week. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.